I'm gonna show you how to style your hair so that it has tons of volume and definition even if your hair has thinned like mine or is thinning or even if it's not. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna do is wash and condition your hair, which I already did using my Viore shampoo bar and my conditioner bar. Then you're going to use your Denman brush or whatever brush you feel comfortable using. Yes, I do brush my hair when it's wet. I know that it's not uh, a curly girl method acceptable thing to do, but I don't really stick to every curly girl method rule because I believe in doing whatever works best for your hair and this is what works best for my hair. If I were to finger comb like the curly girl method says to do, I would have knots like you would not believe. Next, you're going to take whatever product you wanna put in your hair, whichever you prefer, right before you blow dry. I'm going to be using Biolage Fiber Strong. It's like a leave-in. I'll link everything that I use below for you. You wanna use a product that's lightweight so that it doesn't weigh down your hair. And you also wanna to try to concentrate whatever product you're using, whether it's a gel, a leave-in, curl cream, or a mousse or foam in the ends of your hair, try to stay away from your roots. Brush the product through. And then we're going to start parting the hair to get it ready for styling. I like to do it in kind of a halo. So what you're going to do, you can use your fingers, parting it down here, down here, and around the nape of my neck. And then I'm putting the rest up in a little ponytail for now. Now the reason I'm not telling you which product to use is because you have to use whatever works best for you. If you tend to have really unruly and thicker hair, a gel might work best for you. If your hair's a little on the dry side, you might wanna work a curl cream into your hair. And if you tend to have hair that just doesn't go anywhere, it just kinda lays there, a mousse or some sort of foam will work well for you. Now the reason that I use a leave-in conditioner is because my hair does tend to get the volume. I don't like the feeling of gels. They all feel too drying to me. I have extremely dry hair. So the leave-in conditioner gives me softness and it does hold my curl. So now what we are going to do is use the Denman to just get out the knots. And then we're going to go little by little around in a circle and let the Denman kind of do its thing, sort of. So you're gonna take a little piece, put it to the bottom part of the orange part of the brush, and then you're going to pull. And as you do that, let your hair touch the black part. It's what helps smooth it out. And then just let it fall. If your hair is still kind of straight when you do that, hold it here and just do this and it'll start to bounce up. If your hair needs training, if your curls need training, if they're not holding their shape, you're gonna have to help them by starting the same way that we did before, except this time you're going to twist as you come down and it gives you pretty incredible definition. The reason that I don't do that is because my hair already holds its form and this way I have way more volume when I blow dry. But if your curls do need training, you're going to have to do that because the hair will bond to itself to form the perfect curl. See now these aren't incredibly defined, so I'm gonna do that right here. And the reason that they're not incredibly defined there, see how nice, is because my hair is growing back at a bunch of different lengths, so my ends aren't blunt. I have the type of hair where I need blunt ends, so I have all these different strands that are a ton of different lengths, and they kind of don't know what to do with themselves, so they bond to each other when I put them in that form until they grow to the appropriate length and then I will give them a cut and they will do what they're supposed to do. As you're doing this and the curl starts to form, don't touch them. If you have to move them out of the way, it's not a big deal. But that's one of my biggest rules. Do not touch your curls. And you're gonna do, see I need it again because those ends are a little straggly. And the reason I'm doing this as opposed to finger coiling is because I think finger coiling 
makes really nice curls. You could see them in my prior videos. However, since my hair has thinned and it's all these different lengths, it just doesn't work for me. It creates curls that are too tight and it doesn't give me the volume that I want because I want my roots to kind of separate while still holding their shape. So now I'm gonna make another part in the same halo shape, and we're gonna do that until we reach the crown of our head. What becomes important as you move up on your head woo, is to comb the hair, or brush the hair rather, in the direction of growth. I've mentioned this in my previous videos too. This part, especially if you're looking for volume, this part you brush up, this part to the side, this part down. If you're looking for more volume, don't put any part of your hair down. If anything, pull them out to the sides. Same thing. Make sure your hair is touching the black part so it's nice and smooth. Give it a little shake if you have to. I think that one's good. And then don't touch. And I know the curls, you want to touch them, but you can't. It's really hard to do this in a camera. In a phone, no less, so bear with me. And wherever you tend to have frizzy spots, or wherever your hair, your head, wherever your head had the most hair loss, that is where you're gonna wanna do the curl training. Make sure that your hair is very, very wet when you do this too. If your hair starts to dry, wet the ends. Because if we have wet ends, they won't bond to each other. And if your arms are getting tired like mine, take a break <sighs> and take a drink. At this point, your hair may be starting to dry a little bit on the top, re-wet. You may have to add a little bit of product to the tips again. I usually end up putting product on twice. I put it on right before I do this whole process, as you saw, and then I do it again when my hair is about 75% dry, just on the tips, because they tend to get a little bit frizzy, especially because, again, I have a million different lengths going on in there. I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. If you decide that you're going to air dry your hair, which I always recommend, move your hair around a bit. Um, it's really good for your roots. You want movement when your hair is dry. The only way that's gonna happen, especially with curly hair, is if you move as you're drying your hair. So yes, you may look a little weird. My husband always looks at me like I'm strange because as my hair is drying, I'm just like, Ugh. <clears throat> like I think I'm awesome because I am, but that's how you're going to get movement. Don't put your fingers on your curls while they're drying. Now I think you should do what's best for you. If you have to blow dry your hair, blow dry your hair, just make sure that you use a diffuser. If you're going to air dry, that's the best thing that you could possibly do. Just make sure that you move your head around so that your roots get used to moving as they're drying. If you don't, your hair will get stuck in place, especially if you have hair like mine, where if you put it in a ponytail for even 20 minutes and you try to take it down, it's still stuck in that ponytail form. I also always recommend that if you do have to use a diffuser or if you are in a hurry, try to air dry to at least 50 to 75% and then finish off with the blow dryer. At this point, my hair is about 60% dry. So this is where I would go back in with the product and try to find those ends that went a little nuts during the blow drying and smooth them out with the product. Whether you use a gel or a leave-in conditioner, now's the time to do it. Try to also mix it with a little bit of water that does help to give it a little bit more smoothness. I'm gonna use the same product that I put on originally, just a little bit on my fingertips. And I'm also going to do my best Again, this is a ton of regrowth that I'm having. I'm gonna do my best to try to tame any crazy flyaways, although it's completely normal to have some, even if you're not losing your hair. Thank you. 
when you're blow drying, try to move your head in a side to side motion rather than just flipping upside down. When you flip your head upside down, since usually you're not fully upside down, it tends to make the hair in the back separate and it will create a flat spot in the back of your head. So from side to side is the best way to ensure that you get the most volume. At this point, your hair should pretty much be dry. So this is the part where we make sure that your hair is as big as we can possibly get it. So you can do this with a wide tooth comb, you can do this with a pick, or you could even do this with the straightener attachment that looks like a comb that goes on the blow dryer. You're gonna take your fingertips, go into your roots, give it a wiggle, and kind of pull down gently. And at the same time, you're gonna blow dry it. And if you notice that you happen to have any curls that could be separated, do it because this will give an appearance of a thicker head of hair. And it's usually in the areas where you did the curl training with the Denman brush because those tend to clump together really well. Ooh, like this big mama. Separate that and it'll still hold its shape. I think I could even do it again. And once you're happy with the way your hair looks, you're gonna take the blow dryer, you're gonna put it on the cool setting. Have you ever noticed that when you blow dry your hair, it looks really great, you walk around, you finish getting ready for another five minutes, and then you look in the mirror and say, what happened? It's because your hair settled because you didn't give it the chance to settle the way that you wanted it to. The way that's gonna happen was with a cold blast of the low setting of your blow dryer. So put it on low. Put it on cool. And you are good to go. Thanks for getting ready with me. I would love it if you would like and subscribe and keep up with everything that I am doing. I appreciate it. Thank you.